What's up guys, it's the Faruqi Brothers back with another video and today for you guys we're going to be taking a little more serious approach. Uh, obviously uh, the coronavirus has become the most pressing story of 2020. There's over 110,000 cases worldwide of people having the virus. Close to 4,000 people have died already around the world. Uh, that number will increase uh, sadly. Basic things like shortness of breath, fever, cough, you know, don't take precaution, uh, wash your hands, all that. So. We're going to be covering the coronavirus, but we're going to look at it through the entertainment lens like comic book debate and the Faruqi bros usually do. So we're going to start with a couple of things. But the first thing we're going to do is the breaking news, which is coming out of the NBA. Um, the National Basketball Association uh, announced that it is effective immediately suspending the NBA, canceling uh, the regular season until uh, this is figured out. And knowing the way this has become a global pandemic uh, announced by the World Health Association... Uh, there's a good chance we will not be seeing any more NBAs this year, uh, or at least for the good part of this year. So that's pretty much huge news, and we're going to start with that. You can uh, see the seriousness of it. Um, it's never happened before in NBA history outside of like um, CBA and like that kind of stuff, but that's all internal. This is an external thing, a medical thing. This has caused the NBA to basically stop in the middle of the season, which is huge and unprecedented. So... Uh, this is just the first. This is like the first. This is a start of like big changes happening. Uh, obviously, anybody in America and even around the world know that lots of institutions and things are closing, schools, theaters, and this virus has a huge effect on a lot of parts of society. And now in the U.S., it's become big enough or as serious enough where something as big as the NBA is suspending its season, and nobody knows what's going to happen, and who knows where else. This is just a start, so who knows where else this um, kind of suspension thing will lead. It could lead into other sports. It could lead into the entertainment industry. It could lead into anywhere. So, I mean, it's just like a wait-and-see type thing. Uh, I feel like the NBA is doing the right thing by suspending their season just in case, especially since one player is confirmed. So they're going to have to test everybody now, and let's just see where it goes from here. Two players are confirmed. Two players. Who's the second player? Uh, it was one of the point guards on Jazz. I don't, I don't remember his name. All right. Was it Moutier? I think so. All right. So two players now. And actually, I only thought it was one. I thought Rudy Gobert was the confirmed one. But it could be two players now, uh, which means obviously everyone's at risk. Go ahead, Omar. Well, it's uh, honestly, it was a weird day today. So like you mentioned, the World Health Organization announced or officially announced, I guess, that's a global pandemic. And it seems like there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, panic, like, you would expect with uh, something that's taking um, this many lives. And then on top of that, just, um, you know, it's spreading. And honestly, we live in the West and it's one of those things, like when we hear about these things, usually it's something that we hear about and it's across the ocean. We usually don't feel like these things can come into, uh, you know, North America just because of the advancements that's, that have been the advancements that these countries have made but it goes to show you that you know like these things are are really not not in our hands and and um these types of things are are, are very dangerous but it's also important to you know when you look at the numbers there's four i think four thousand some deaths um but there's sixty thousand people that were affected and there's people that have recovered and um, it's just important to stay balanced in these situations. With the NBA, obviously for us, we just, it's like weird because, you know, this week we had freaking LeBron show the world that he's the greatest, he's the greatest player ever. Um, or now this man ain't going to win the ring this year, son. Yeah, I mean, this, I heard the NBA discussing many options. One of the options that they're going to cancel the rest of the NBA season and then they're going to do the playoffs maybe in October or maybe do the playoffs in August, or maybe do the playoffs in July. So I think they're going to try their best to at least accommodate it. But the NBA season, as we know it, the way we expect the seasons to go, uh, is effectively canceled. And obviously, the way these pandemics go... It's uh, safety first, man. Yes, it's safety At first. Day, safety first. At the end of the day, it's safety yeah, first. I mean, to be honest, you can, commend NBA. you can commend the NBA for doing it because it's the first big thing. Like, I think the NFL didn't announce... Same thing. Yeah, the NFL season is over right now. 
Um, outside of, like you're mentioning the uh, different areas, we know that E3, um, the biggest gaming uh, kind of conference, has been canceled. We know San Diego Comic Con is probably next in line. CinemaCon got canceled. A lot of these events in the entertainment industry got canceled. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog got delayed indefinitely in places like China. Uh, the James Bond movie, No Time to Die, got delayed to November. So a lot of industries are being affected, obviously. And like I think we all mentioned, and I'm going to let Samir talk in a minute, more than anything, it's about the safety of people around the world. So really, we care about that most of all. But since we recover the entertainment industry and the sports industry, it's good to look at that as well. Samir, what is your take, take on all of this? Well, uh, you know, like yeah, you heard the Mark Cuban interview where he said it's, it's almost like it's out of a movie. No one expected this. And um, it's not like Rudy Gobert is like the first athlete to get um, coronavirus. Um, a player from Juventus also got uh, diagnosed with it. Diagnosed? With it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I don't know. They didn't cancel any of their games. Right. So I, don't I think that. they're playing without a stadium. Right. They're going to play alone. Like uh, no. Yeah. Count. All the teams are playing without a stadium. Yeah. And then Tom Hanks also got coronavirus from people we know, like in the entertainment industry. Uh, also big news. I mean, uh, I mean, more than just worrying about kind of the richer people, there's a lot of people who are poor who can't afford to get tested, even though now they're, they're going to allow you know free testing and stuff like that. But there's people around the world in other areas, not in the Western world, who are there's suffering also- much more uh, because of the way this virus spreads. Um, it's extremely contagious where just coughing near someone is enough to catch it. There's also... Every demographic has its own thing. Like in Canada, there's less of a a panic because the public health system here is really good, and because you don't really have to pay for um, the treatments of these type of things. But I mean, I guess in the United States, I think there's the you know there's a growing concern with this sort of thing because you know people are actually gonna have to pay for treatment, which yeah. is dangerous, even though it's like a it should be treated as a public safety issue, and I think it should be made free. But again, every country has its its. Uh, yeah, and you know, moving into politics, sounds- <laughs> moving into politics. Actually, uh, the Trump, uh, President Trump, announced he had a press conference today, uh, an hour ago actually, and he said that he is banning for thirty days no travel from Europe to the United States or United States to Europe uh, at all. So. That's a big step as well. Already there's been a travel restrictions for China, uh, think South Korea, Iran, uh, all these hot spots that have a lot of coronavirus cases. But now this is the first time where he's, there's a straight up ban on the entire region, the European region, uh, not including the UK. Uh, so this is actually the start of the beginning. We don't know. I know you guys uh, are, on the, are in Canada and we're in the United States. We don't know if, it's, if the next step is uh, honestly Canada has – very few cases compared to the United States. Maybe tomorrow Canada will be like we're closing the border to the U.S. and we don't want people from the U.S. coming to Canada. So, like, these things, we don't know what's happening, but uh, like Samir said, like, it, it feels like it's out of a movie. It feels like uh, I Am Legend or Planet of the Apes or something like that where, you know, it starts slow, but it spreads fast. Like, Italy, the entire country is in quarantine. Um, so I think it's very uh, – it's quite a – insane thing which is i think why we're actually taking the time to record a podcast about it uh to kind of spread that information uh to our listeners and also just make sure that everyone knows like (laughs) wash your hands you know basic things like that uh don't do any unnecessary travel that's not needed uh very easy things like that like don't uh uh, for uh, for us new yorkers like don't go on the subway if you don't absolutely have to because you know it's crazy out here uh, but, but yeah, I think just being NBA fans, seeing, uh, and we were watching it live, seeing they're about to start the game between the Utah Jazz and the Oklahoma City Thunder, and literally right seconds before tip-off, all the players are ready to go, they cancel the game like that, and they told all the people in the arena to get out. So, it's, it's, it was like, it's pretty interesting to see. And Samir, I think you mentioned the Chris Paul story, right? When he went over to the bench to ask, well, what's wrong with Rudy Gobert? Until they get away. Yeah. So. Pretty yeah. So it's getting it's getting kind of crazy. Um, any other comments, you guys? Any kind of specific advice you want to give? Anything you want to say to kind of our followers about the virus, about kind of our perspectives? Anyone want to say anything? I think you basically covered all of it. Just stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. If you don't have to interact or contact with anybody outside as much, 
like don't force it um don't shake hands don't fist bump even like just for the time being just miles will you know um play it safe you know don't take the risk they gotta just take the four teams that made the made the playoffs just play those games <laughs> <laughs> just start the blast now. <laughs> Yo, Loki, we all of us still want LeBron to win a freaking ring this year <laughs> somehow. Yeah, look, let's just, just give LeBron the ring. But yeah, uh, Umar, you had something to say, right? You want to close us off? Yeah, I was going to say that you. Uh, it's important to also like be patient with these type of um, things. Uh, they are a type of test. Um, you have to be patient if you know someone that has it. Uh, we should, those who believe in God, I guess you should pray for the for the recovery of the people that have it and pray that God hopefully doesn't test you with it and you just keep on going on. Yep, well said. And again, just to make sure, like Omar said, panic is not needed in that sense. There have been over, while it's something to be concerned about, there's been over 110,000 cases. Only 4,000 people have died from it and I think most of those 4,000 have been the elderly. So, again, it's kind of taking care of your uh, your, your parents, your grandparents, making sure they're also uh, in good shape. Uh, people in our age group, younger people, um, when we – us getting the virus – uh, usually results in uh, just quarantining, uh, taking care of yourself, but uh, it's not a, a kill virus. It's not something that's like massacring people, but there are unfortunately going to be deaths, especially in poorer areas in the world where there's not enough health care. Uh, that's why we all kind of have to come together as kind of a, a world to kind of combat this before it gets too crazy. But um, like we said, we got to just keep it easy. Uh, life doesn't stop. It keeps going on. But uh, just being who we are covering this industry, since we cover entertainment, uh, we look at it through that lens and seeing kind of uh, this world, uh, the entertainment world, even though it's very small compared to the big world, the real world. It is worth noting that things are getting canceled, things are moving, which shows that, you know, this hasn't happened before. This is unprecedented uh, in our kind of modern times. So, uh, again, let's see how it goes. Uh, let us know in the comments kind of uh, any tips and tricks you have, anything we're forgetting, any kind of uh, interesting discussion you want to add. Uh, feel free to do that in the comments below. Uh, this is Shiraz, and I'm, of course, with as always with Zayan, Umar, and Samir. We're the Faruqi Brothers. We'll see you next time. Peace out.